The worst Pokemon that I find will be on the team. This team will give you a challenge, but I don't think it will be impossible to beat the games. Challenge accepted. How do you do fellow Pokemon Masters? Allow me to explain what you are about to see. Pocketable Mystic Umbreon has just recently made a worst Pokemon team for Fire Red and Leaf Green video. And as a true gamer like myself. I took it upon myself to use this team. So welcome one and all to the worst Pokemon team let's play. Kanto Edition. I start this off by naming my character Shiraiu. As a little nod to the person who encouraged Mystic to make this team. And then following Mystic's instructions I chose Bulbasaur as my starter, so that Blue can have a Cherizard on his team. After winning the rival battle I headed off to get Oak's parcel. As soon as I get the Pokeballs I caught our first official member for this team, Rattata. I gave him the nickname R.I.P. because that's what happened to Blue's Raticut. I then also caught a Spearow. Spearow isn't part of the team but one is needed to receive another team member later on. After that I started leveling both of them up to level 9, so I can fight Blue. This battle is optional, but I wanted the experience. Then after that I head on to Viridian Forest. And here is where I make a few modifications. You see in his worst team video he says. Kanto. Pikachu is actually worse, but I wanted to do this with full evolved Pokemon. And since Pikachu is actually worse than Electrode I decided to use a Pikachu instead, but I won't evolve it. Why do I make this change you ask? Well mostly because I need an electric type to beat Misty, and since I'm the one doing all of this, reality can be whatever I want. After catching one I gave my Pikachu a truly unique and special name. Afterwards I searched for a Metapod. I had to try to catch it twice, because I only had two Pokeballs left, and it kept getting out. Luckily I caught one, and gave her a wacky ass nickname just like the rest. My Metapod is a female, so I gave it the name Booter Free, because why the hell not? After that things get a little bit challenging, I already battled all of the bug catchers in Viridian Forest, but I wasn't enough mostly, because my Metapod only knows Harden. Fortunately there was a solution. I went back to Viridian Forest, and battled all of the wild bug types by first starting the fights with Metapod, and then switched to Spearow, since my Spearow was level 9 getting experience for Metapod became a bit easier, but still challenging.
Now that my metapod has evolved into Butterfree it now knows confusion. But the challenge doesn't stop here. Now that my Butterfree knows confusion I started to take on Brock's gym. His only gym minion is not much of a problem and I managed to get Butterfree to level 11. Then I faced Brock. I thought it was going to be a rough battle, but I came up with a strategy. First as always he sends out Geodude, but thanks to confusion it didn't pose much of a threat. Then he sends out his onyx, at this point I switched to Bulbasaur to lower its defense. Then after his onyx knocks out my Bulbasaur, I switched to Spiro to lower its attack. And after lowering both of its attack and defense stats, I can finally get some good hits in with my Butterfree's confusion. After defeating Brock, I get the Rocktum TM. This is a move that will come in handy probably. And after all of that, I saved the game at the Pokemon Center. Next time we will be heading through Mount Moon and hopefully defeat Misty. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you, and goodbye.